Are you afraid to make millions? That's right. Are you afraid to make millions? Because believe it or not, fear is what keeps people from going after their dreams. Well, tonight, we're going to get you past the fear and on the road to making millions with a step-by-step -step plan for going for your dream. Let's start with Amanda Kennedy, who embraced her fear, was not afraid at the end. She was afraid, overcame it. Now she's making millions living the dream. The fear is part and parcel to the idea. So I kind of like to call it Satan. I'm Amanda Kennedy, and I'm the founder and CEO of Sassy Backs. I am the originator of the bra that eliminates back fat. I was getting ready to go out to dinner with my husband one night after having shopped and shopped and shopped for weeks to find something that would fix the problem, and there was nothing. And all of a sudden, I had this light bulb idea. If control top pantyhose could do something amazing for the bottom, bottom half of our bodies, which was slim and smooth, then why couldn't something like that be invented for the upper part of your body? One part of your brain is saying, I think it's a good idea, and the other part of your brain is saying, no, it's not. You don't have a good idea. It's not, what are you talking about? You invent something? Pushing through the fear is not as easy as it sounds. What you have to do is figure out what works for you. All right, Amanda, I want to talk about not the pushing up, but the pushing through the fear. <laughs> because that's what all, because you obviously, you had the idea, but all the fear demons Oof. started to kick in. Talk to me about the demons and how you overcame them. Well, the demons are many, and, and, and they constantly sit on your shoulder and tell you that you can't do it, you won't do it. And, and one of the things that helps me is identifying that voice. Is it female? Is it male? Is it someone in your past? Is it your mother, your father, your That's sister, right. your brother? You know, some teacher that slapped your knuckles with a ruler in high school because you didn't do your math properly. Um, identify the voice and then talk back. That's, a br that's one of the most brilliant things I've ever heard on the show. That's so, this, this goes way beyond that business or anything else. That <laughs> if there is fear, if there's something saying, well, you can't do it, or everybody's going to tell you, oh, there's a, that's an inventive voice. If somebody, it was either the, the little league coach who told you you couldn't do it or the first girlfriend or boyfriend. Oh, that's you fascinating. bet. You and bet. so you develop, so give up, you're saying give an actual voice to that voice. Yeah, and identify create the voice. your own voice. Yep. This is, and that's talk fantastic. back, because what happened is, you didn't talk back then because you were a kid, and you weren't supposed to talk back. But now you're an adult, and no one's going to tell you what to Can do. Can I get on the no couch, one. man? This is great. Hey. 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 Years of therapy. This is brilliant. I love this. This is fantastic. Well, you know I'm a former psychotherapist. This is, that, that's a brilliant, that's a really interesting <laughs> exercise, you know? You know, yeah. get, on, get on the couch, honey, if that's what it takes, I and talk back. I love that. And do not let anybody tell you that you cannot. So in your case, yes. give me an example of the fears that were coming up oh. and then how you talk back to them. I went down to the Mart with my product once I got it developed. And I went and I visited lingerie showrooms because I was a bra. Right. And they all said to me, well, that's not a bra. That's, I don't know what it is, but it's not a bra. And, well, oh, I'm sorry, but we're not taking anyone new at this time. And they basically all wanted to redesign my product. Well, if you did this, well, if you did that, well, if you made it a little lighter, a little stronger, a little this or a little that, or it's got to have adjustable straps. I said it has adjustable straps. They're just stretchy. It's, it's my design. It's my dream. It's my dream. And I'm going to stick to it. And if you don't like it, well, then you go out and be the designer. You also talk about, and this sounds a little kind of new agey, whatever, keeping a journal for fears. Oh. Well, what do you mean by that? I was never that, a journal kind of guy. Oh, I've always been a journal girl. Um, when I was 14, I talked, you know, I, I talked back in my journal things I couldn't say to my parents or my teachers or whatever. So I talked back to my fears in my journal. I put them on paper. I looked at them and I said, all right, fears. You know, let's just take you out and look at you. And, and ooh, you're ugly, you're nasty, you're, you're stopping me. And what is it that I can do to tell you, you know, you're wrong, I'm going to do it. And I just journaled every single day and, and kept that journal. And I would read it back, and I read it back now, and I just relish every second of it. Because I say, you know, look how afraid you were. And I still have fears, but I'm a lot more confident now. I had great inspiration by looking at other female entrepreneurs who had done things that people told them they couldn't do like Helen Gurley Brown from Cosmopolitan magazine she did something so revolutionary so extraordinary in a day when women didn't talk about sex yeah I and hated those days <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember them right Me neither. <laughs> so um, 
I found, you know, women like that incredibly inspirational. Coco Chanel, who wore pants before women ever wore pants. So it's really kind of putting blood, if you will, because sometimes we, this goes back to the visioning thing that we were talking about, that point to somebody. Not that you do it exactly their way, but, you know, that could have been me or that. So there's almost an image out there. Now, we got them over the fear. They have an idea. They have their next... Uh, bra idea or the next magazine idea. Mm -hmm. What can we have somebody start to write down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? That's their crude version of a dream plan instead of a sophisticated business plan. It's sort of like what you do when you apply for a patent. You write down why the American market needs this product. What it is a, what is it going to do for the American public? Basically, the idea of a patent is how will it improve life in America for your for your customer and utility. Thomas Jefferson said is proof of um, sale. So if it's useful, it will sell. So you write down, why does the American public need this product? What is it? Who are my customers? Who am I going to go after for distribution? Do it in a very rational, logical way. Don't worry yeah. about any structure. Just almost do a kind of a, a download of a logic track, if you will. Exactly. And you can do that in your journal. So I will share my idea, but of course also you have to protect yourself. I use non-disclosure agreements pretty frequently. Um, you know, I'll do research on the USPTO.gov website mm -hmm. to look up trademarks and patents. And Amanda, you didn't know anything about it. How did you get over the fear and just say, okay, what did you do initially? I got over the fear by doing exactly what Cameron just said. I got a non-disclosure agreement. And if somebody wouldn't sign that non-disclosure agreement for me, then I asked myself the question, well, why don't they want to sign it if they're not going to talk about it? Right. And if they wouldn't sign it, I didn't talk to them. Right. Because I'm in a manufacturing business. And in the manufacturing business, there's pirates everywhere. And you cannot share your idea until you've gotten an NDA signed. And sometimes that alone is enough to see. It is. That, that, that's the litmus test. Well, guys, what are you afraid of right now? That's it. I don't want to hear any of this whining. Go Amanda Kennedy is the president of Sassybacks. This is an inspirational group. You got